Coming up, we'll hear about the FHS Quiz Bowl team and find out just how the school's yearbook is made. We'll also learn about a new AP Ambassadors program and hear from Aiden Bermillo with the Bulldog Sports Report. I'm Braden Calvert. And I'm Sydney Pickle. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is February 10th. Thank you for joining us. We've got a great show. Let's start off with some world news. The coronavirus is quickly spreading throughout major cities worldwide, including its origins in the Chinese Wuhan province. The World Health Organization confirmed China's total number of known cases to be 28,018 by late last week. That number jumped to 31,161 with 636 deaths. China has issued statements warning the public to be prepared for the possibility of further outbreak involving their local community. That's all for World News. All courses that have applications are now posted under the CAP file on the FHS website. Physical copies can be found in the Phase 3 3rd Floor Administrator's Office. Students are reminded that they cannot request these courses during CAP. Yearbook is now accepting applications for the 2020-2021 school year. Applications are due by February 14th. For more information, see Mr. Teague in room 2414. There will be two more AccuPlacer exams administered on February 11th at 7.30 and February 12th at 1240 in the library classroom for any students requesting an NWTI or an NWAC concurrent course who doesn't have the qualifying test scores. At the time of testing, $2 will be required for each subject area needed. The staff member of the week application is now on the school website or available at the link on your screen. Be sure to vote for a staff member who you think is deserving of this award. The FHS Register is looking for stories to cover in upcoming months. Any students with a story to tell should see the website on your screen to get in contact with an FHS Register staff member. This week, we took a look at the Quiz Bowl team and how they prepare for competitions. Most meetings involve practicing for matches and learning new content to broaden student knowledge. Reporter Abby Brannon brings us more. Quiz Bowl is a competitive team at FHS who uses academic knowledge to their advantage in trivia-based competitions. This week, we talked to team members about how they prepare to compete individually and as a group. So quiz Bowl, it's like a team-based sport competition, I guess. It's kind of like reverse Jeopardy. You have to answer the questions instead of giving them. Um, so you can answer questions about anything from, say, chemistry to Oscar winners. But if you really are interested in science or history, we also have Science Bowl and History Bowl. Probably have a subject that you really like, like uh, ocean animals, space, college sports. So you study that on your own if you feel like it, like uh, from textbooks and flashcards. And you come to practice twice a week, and then uh, you learn to work as a team. I try to pay attention a lot during practices, pay attention in class, and really, yes. like just yes. educational like YouTube videos and Quizlets. Um, Quiz Bowl is really fun. The people who are involved in it are some of the nicest people you'd probably meet. It's definitely something that helps me with school because you learn things in Quiz Bowl that you wouldn't really learn just in class. We wish the FHS Quiz Bowl team good luck on their competitions this year. Thanks, Abby. Applications are now available for students interested in orientation to teaching classes. This class gives students the opportunity to learn teaching practices in real-world situations. Forms are due to Mrs. Randall by February 20th. The final opportunity for seniors to take the ACT is coming up. The registration deadline for the April 4th test must be completed by February 28th. Any junior boys interested in attending Boys State should send Mr. Newman an email using the address on your screen. The conference will be held from May 24th to May 29th at the University of Central Arkansas. Any sophomores, juniors, or seniors interested in learning to run small businesses should fill out the application in the student announcements by February 14th. For more information, contact Chris Clark at the email address on your screen. The Guard program will be hosting a Winter Guard competition on February 15th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is the only Guard competition in the state. This competition will feature over 30 programs. Admission is $7 for adults and $5 for students and senior citizens, while children under 5 will get in for free. A new program for FHS Ambassadors has recently opened up for FHS students interested in Ambassador Program. The AP Ambassadors Program is a group of students interested in bringing diversity to our AP programs. Reporter Aiden Bermillo has more. 
FHS has started a new program called the AP Ambassadors. This is a class of AP students that make it their goal to create diversity and difference within the FHS AP program. Uh, but basically what has happened at FHS and many school districts is that we have a problem. There are certain student populations that um, do not receive uh, the same kind of academic supports as other student populations. Um, and so AP ambassadors are students who have had a successful experience in AP classes and want to help other students that haven't yet had those successful experiences to be able to attain them, get access to um, those AP classes. Um, I chose to be an AP ambassadors just to help out with the school and increase diversity and um, just help people feel like they're at home. I decided to join AP Ambassadors because um, I saw in my AP classes that they weren't very diverse and um, I think it's important to have diverse perspectives in AP classes and so I wanted to join a program that increased that diversity. So when I think about the impact that the AP program has on students' lives, um, I feel privileged that I've been able to work with these particular AP Ambassador students because one of the things that we've done in class is each student has written a story. They've told their story as an AP student and so I've been able to hear some of the more personal sides of, of these students' experiences and interactions with our AP program. The AP program has impacted me personally by giving me like a group of friends who are constantly in my classes and um, it's all like a tight-knit community and so say if you miss a day you have people to help you and they just the program gives you a bunch of opportunities to earn college credit and GPA boost and make new friends and all the teachers are great. Um, the AP program has prepared me for college in ways that I wouldn't have gotten if I hadn't taken an AP class. Um, I've definitely learned um, better skills in like writing essays and having discussions um, about different topics and like um, things like that. So I think just college preparation is the biggest thing I've taken away from it. If you are attending Fayetteville High School next year, make sure to sign up for those AP classes. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Aiden Bravilla. Back to the desk. Thanks, Aiden. After the break, we'll go behind the scenes with the yearbook crew. We'll also hear from Aiden Bramilla with the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. We would like to welcome you to the DECA Fashion Show. The 18th annual DECA Fashion Show is coming to FHS later this month. There will be 40 students modeling prom wear from local boutiques including Violet's, David's Bridal, and Mr. Tuck's, all while benefiting the FHS DECA program. Ticket prices are $15 for adults and $10 for students. Join us in supporting the DECA Fashion Show, February 20th at 6.30 p.m. in the PAC. The FHS basketball teams were rolling in the last few weeks. The boys team moved to 6-1 in conference play after rolling over Bentonville West here at home last Tuesday. The girls team is also off to a hot 6-1 start to conference play led by the play of senior Sasha Goforth. Last week, Goforth also learned that she was elected to the McDonald's High School All-American team, the highest honor for a high school hoops player. Stay tuned to next week's Bulldog Weekly for our feature on Sasha Goforth and her plans for after high school. Both teams are in action tomorrow night, taking on Van Buren here at Bulldog Arena. Be sure to come out and support your dogs. That's all for sports. Back to the desk. Thanks, Aiden. In just a few short months, the yearbook will be here, but not many people know what goes on behind the scenes. FHS TV reporter Luke Abney gives us a glimpse of the inner workings of the yearbook staff and how they bind the book together. Every year, FHS students create a yearbook to capture the year's memories, but there's much more that goes on behind the scenes to make it. So basically every week we get, we're assigned um, a weekly spread and we're expected to, um, you know, do our assignment, whether that's um, a module or a story, and we have to have that completed around like two-ish weeks. And then we're either assigned like a really big story that takes about like a few weeks to do, um, or just like a sports spread, and it's just... It is a lot of pressure just because you are expected to get your work done and to make sure everything's on time before the deadline. So yearbook for me is I'm a photographer, so my main job is to um, go to events and take pictures and then we usually just upload them and then um, the people like the staff members and editors, we usually help them with like information about the game and like 
with people that were in it. Finishing the yearbook is always really rewarding and like in the final weeks we're double checking everyone's spelling of their name, we're making sure that all the photo buys are correct and that we've covered like as many people as we possibly can. It's a really fun time for me, um, it's just like a time where I can like hang out with my friends but I also really have to like crack down on the work and like make sure that I get everything done but it's just been an awesome experience getting to be connected in the school. At the end of the day once the book comes out like we generally people love it and we get good responses and then we get back at it again for next year. All that work pays off when memories are forever captured in the yearbook. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Luke Abney. Back to the desk. Thanks Luke. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHSBulldogTV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Sydney Pickle. And I'm Braden Calvert. We'll see you next time.